Hi, I'm Troy Halterman. I get to stay home today because a friend of mine, Richard Harrington, is going to stop by. Richard is a graphic designer and an artist. I'm excited to share his work with you. Richard! Hi, Troy. How nice are you? you? Great to see you. Nice to see you. How are you doing? You're going to talk to us about design a little bit I today? I would love to, yeah. Thank you for having me. Come on in. So, Rich, where shall we start this story? Should we talk about your childhood? Yeah, I grew up in Yorkshire. I was born in a town called Doncaster in the north of England. I wasn't really surrounded by art as a child, really. You know, my earliest memories were um, vinyl covers that my dad would leave around and obviously I would pick them up and be fascinated by the art on these records. It was all the Beatles covers for me. Just yeah, the, they were the great, creativity they? behind their, their sort of imagery and revolver and yellow submarine. I just really vividly remember thinking to myself, what, you know, what kind of artist gets to make that work and has his name on the front cover with the Beatles. Music's a, it's an interesting product to design for. Everybody feels it differently. There's no wrong album cover. Were you one of those kids that was constantly drawing? Constantly drawing. Constantly up in my room, tucked away with a magazine out probably and copying what I saw in the magazine or things around me and trying to, you know, um, master that technique. Pencil crayon was my go-to tool at the time. And there's a story there to how I acquired my first tin of pencil crayons. When I was at school, I didn't have many tools. I didn't have many crayons or artistic, uh, you know, things to create with. And a, myself and a group of our friends, my friends went and um, we, we stole some crayons <laughs> and knocked them into my jacket. And I was probably only 15 at the time. And then I went on and spent hours using them and drawing and enjoying them. But I do buy my crayons now. <laughs> my first non-official job was drawing, sketching portraits in Greece on beaches with a dear friend of mine and he and I partnered up as a team and travel to Greece and draw portraits of people that were brave enough to to have one done. It was amazing. It, it was it was one of the most you know freeing things I'd probably done at that moment in my life. All we had was the talent. I know that you've been a head creative director in a couple of points of your life. What's it like to work on some of those big teams? It brings a different set of challenges, really. You know, I think the ultimate goal for me is still to make the best work possible. It's always about the work for me. When you have a, a team of designers or you are leading a project and creating work at scale, there's a different set of expectations and um, demands from the job. And it's not just all about the actual design and the end product, but managing teams, lifting people's spirits and inspiring people across lots of different touch points along the journey of making the work is, is part of the role. I was working at Meta, where I was leading projects. I had teams of designers. That was a very different role for me compared to you know, creating a design myself for a client. Rebranding a company um, like Facebook, I think it will be looked back on as, you know, certainly in this moment of tech sort of innovation. You know, the logo that we created at the time, um, it was a very small team actually. It was a top secret piece of work we were making. We had to make fast decisions. We had an extremely important deadline to to meet. So, you know, things were working in the favor of design in that sense. Simplicity is a big inspiration for me. You know, the idea of using simple color and form, something really attracts me about being able to take something fairly complex and reduce it into a simple expression. It's more of a sort of a timeless execution of design and art and then people can interpret from that simplicity 
take from it what they want themselves. And building on that simplicity to you know, make really powerful, strong work. Thank you, Richard, for stopping by and giving us a little glimpse of your career. Great to see you, Troy. Thanks for having me over. Thank you.